my pie people it's the average man again uh, I just did an unboxing video and I thought you know what I'll make another one so here we go um, I just wanted to show you something I got from Pieborg so you'll all know about these right the SRO4 ultrasonic distance sensor here yeah, different numbers going up and down when it gets closer something perfect that kind of thing is going to go on my Pieborg robot that I'm building for Pieborg 2015 uh, now what I did do before is I bought some of these right so these are got little holes here and you can mount these on your robot something like that and then you just chuck whichever way around your little sensors in where is it hang on go on go in wrong video man come on there we are right so that goes on and looks really cool yeah but I found something that looks even cooler and it was less than a fiver so I thought go on then I'll treat myself so let's get rid of this yeah these these aren't cool anymore check this out Pieborg sell this I think I paid about four quid for it doesn't look like much at the moment, but it's got some little screws in here. So let's have a look. Let's open it up. I'll probably end up bending it the wrong way, regretting making this video, and I'll have to order another one. Um, let's see what happens. So it does the same thing as a plastic one. I'm not telling you it's going to be any better. If anything, it might even be a touch heavier. But what it is, this bit folds. You know, what? I'm not going to do it now because I will mess it up. I want to do it in like a nice, a bit of a panel. This bit folds up and makes a right angle. Okay, and your See the little holes here in the corners? Your ultrasonic sensor goes in here. Look. You, know, you can't tell me it doesn't look so much cooler than a plastic one. That is stainless steel. That's the real deal. It's going to make my little robot fireproof, even though Pi Wars is reasonably friendly and safe. So, there you go. You bend that bit back. This little hole here screws into your robot. And then this will be in the front. Look, let me grab my let me grab my robot chassis. Let me get my motor controller out of the way. Okay, look, here we go. It's gonna be something like that. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? it? Looks a bit like uh what's that robot? Johnny Five, isn't it? I mean it looks a bit wonky now, I need to screw it in. Well that's cool. I could spend ages getting the screws out, screwing it in, but you get you get the idea. So these are over at Pieborg. Here they are. Pieborg.org. Um only a fiver. Cheers, Pieborg, that's a good value. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I'm going to add this to my Pywars robot. If you come to Pywars, you'll see it. Uh, and that is it. There you go. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to start doing some videos because, oh, you know, they're not great quality, but hey ho, they show you what's going on. So there you go, guys. I'm the Average Man. Uh, blog is at averagemanversusraspberrypi.com. If you want to see more of that, you'll see it on the robot within a few weeks. I'm doing a dev blog on my robot every week or so um, just to show you what's going on. So tune in, subscribe. Every time I give something away, subscribers are automatically entered as well. So that's that's fun for everybody, apart from I have to pay to post it to you. But that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. All right, guys, this is The Average Man. See you soon.